Hey, what's up guys, it's Del Vinci. Today I'm back with another beat breakdown. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I produce Beat It by Real Young Phil. So, yeah, I'm gonna just start out by playing the beat real quick. I got my butt on Da Vinci with me, the head play that boy get white. Okay, so that's the beat. Um, I'm gonna start just going through the different sounds I use to produce this. Uh, the first sound here uh, for the chords, I used an electric piano in stage 73 in the Alteria bundle. So these are the chords I played. Uh, it looks like I was playing in it looks like I was playing in C minor, I believe. Okay, yeah, it looks like this beat's actually in A sharp minor. Okay, so, yeah, so those are the chords I had um, on the electric piano. Uh, this is the mix I had on it. A pretty interesting <laughs> chain of plugins right here. Um, Valhalla Ubermod, which is basically a chorus. Uh, actually, I think I used a, a delay, it looks like. Eighth note gate. I believe this is a, like a, what I use in this one is either chorus, a doubler, or a little EQ uh, type thing for this plugin. I don't know, this plugin's really dope. <laughs> but uh, it has a lot of different like stuff you can do in it. You see, uh, you got choruses, uh, echoes, flangers, ping pong delays. So yeah, I had this plugin, uh, RC20, to like widen out the sound a little bit more. Uh, an EQ to cut out some low ends and a stereo enhancer to um, you know give the sound a little more wideness and then I had some some additional EQs I did down here as well okay for the next sound I used uh, this little sound in Whirly this pretty interesting uh, electric type sound And for this sound, um, looks like I just had a Uber mod on there again, the space modulator, flanger, and then a RC20 on this one. For the next sound, this is the string. And it looks like I used the same exact uh, mixer preset for both of these sounds. So yeah, just like some flanger and some reverb on, on this sound. And this is just a string. Uh, now I use D50. Uh, I use a bell in it, I believe. And I believe I use the same exact uh, presets on this one as well. I just EQ'd out some of the mid end. All right, next sound. Uh, now we get into the drums. For this beat, I was using a mixture of the Da Vinci Kit Volume One, and I also was using this Monty Booker sound kit. Uh, yeah, so it's like a mixture of both, but. We got the clap right here that I used in the beginning of the beat. Next we have the hi-hat. Pretty simple, just, you know, two-step hi-hat. Next we had the rim shot. Next time we had the 808. Now this is the 808 that's in the Da Vinci Kit Volume 1. Uh, the 808-3. Uh, this is the pattern I had. Uh, but for this 808, I actually put R bass on top of it. Yeah, I put R bass on top just to, you know, increase the bass a little bit more. Pretty simple pattern. Uh, next, just a little snare for the hook part. 
which comes right here. Uh, last sound I had, well not last sound, the second last sound I had was the kick. I'm not too sure why, why I did the kick like this. It's going in different pitches, but... That's pretty interesting. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the kick drum. That kick is in the Da Vinci Kit Volume 1. Uh, the last sound here is this pad in CS80. Looks like I just put a, a Bahala Shimmer on here, which is kind of like a reverb. And the Space Modulator. Pretty cool sound. And the last sound I had here, I added was my tag. Uh, I have a couple different tags I used. This is a, a tag that, um, I got my boy on the bench with me. They play there, but I get white. So this tag is actually NGYL. Um, I had like a session with him, like back in February 2019, and we he recorded like 10 songs. And I like engineered them and whatnot. So uh, there was one song we did where he said this. And I got my boy on the bench with me. They play there, but and I just thought it would be like, dang, that sounds like that would be cool as a tag. So <laughs> this that's kind of the origin story of this tag. Like I said, I got like, a couple different tags that I use, but. Yeah, this tag is, I ended up using this tag for this. Yeah, on but yeah, that's basically the um, that's basically the whole entire beat for Beat It. I hope you guys were able to learn some cool things about, you know, uh, the process of how I made this beat, whatnot. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty simple actually. I I really love this beat. It's probably one of my favorite songs on the EP me and Phil did. Um, yeah, now nah, this beat this beat is super cool. I, I really love the vibe of it. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing my sound kits, I have three sound kits available right now. I have I have three sound kits available, and I have one f additional free one. So four out right now. Uh, link in description at davinci.com. Uh, they come with some loops, some sample loops I produce, some drums I use. They're really dope. I have videos on my YouTube page as well, basically showing you guys all the sounds contained within the kits. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I appreciate everyone for watching this. I hope any producers watching this were able to learn some cool tricks uh, about how you know I produced this song. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.